All right, so here is a Heisenberg uncertainty principle example problem, okay? And this guy is just a little bit different in that we're given the position of an electron, so we're given a range, and then we're asked for its minimum uncertainty and velocity, okay? So we're going to have to do something just a little bit different with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and write down the equation for the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, okay? So uncertainty in x multiplied by uncertainty in momentum is always greater, to, greater than or equal to Planck's constant divided by 4 pi. Okay? So that's what we're working with. All right. Now, we are given the uncertainty in x in this problem. Okay? So we have the range that x is known to be in, and then we're asked for uncertainty and velocity. So what should come to mind, all right? Because I don't see uncertainty and velocity in this problem. And so what you should be thinking about now is the uncertainty in momentum is going to be equal to the mass of whatever you're looking at, multiplied by its uncertainty in velocity, okay? So we don't have uncertainty in the mass, but so the uncertainty in momentum is going to come from this uncertainty in velocity, all right? So that's how we are going to get there eventually, okay? Now, what if you're saying to yourself, I don't know the mass of an electron? Well, luckily that is a constant that we can simply look up. So let's go ahead and write that down also. So the mass of an electron is equal to 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Okay, so now we have that too, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and rearrange the equation to solve for the uncertainty and momentum, since that's where we're going. All right, so let's divide by uncertainty in x, okay? And we're gonna end up with the uncertainty in momentum is greater than or equal to h divided by 4 times pi times the uncertainty in x. Okay. Okay. And let's go ahead and fill everything in. All right, so we have 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34. Okay, again, this now this is joule seconds, so let's also remember that one joule is equal to one kilogram meter squared over second squared. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in so we end up with correct units. So one kilogram meter, one kilogram meter squared, not second squared over a second squared, and then also remember it's joules seconds, so we have another seconds to multiply by there, okay? And four times pi, that doesn't change, and let's go ahead and put in our uncertainty in x, 2.0 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. Okay, all right, so now when we run all of those numbers, all right, then we are gonna end up with a certain value, but let's go ahead and cancel out our units first. Um, so let's get rid of second squared there, and we're going to get rid of meters, so that takes down, that cancels out one of those meters, and so we end up with kilograms times meters over seconds, and those are the units for momentum, so we're happy there, all right, so let's go ahead and run those numbers, and we are going to end up with 2.64 times 10 to the negative 30, uh, sorry, 24 kilograms meters over seconds. Okay. All right, so there's our uncertainty and momentum. All right, so all we need now is to solve for uncertainty and velocity using that. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down Uncertainty in momentum is equal to mass times uncertainty in velocity. Solving for uncertainty in velocity. So let's divide by mass. Okay. And so we're going to end up with uncertainty in velocity 
is equal to uncertainty in momentum divided by mass. Okay, and so when we plug everything in there, 2.64 times 10 to the negative 24 kilograms meters over seconds. Okay, and then mass of an electron, so let's go up here and get this, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Okay, and when we solve for that, put that in the calculator, we're going to end up with 2.9 times 10 to the negative, uh, t times 10 to the 6th, okay, and that's meters per second. All right, so that is our uncertainty in velocity when we know the position to within 2.0 times 10 to the negative 11 meters, okay, so this is our final answer.